Long Island Sound and its diverse marine life. Many people throughout history have depended on its creatures for their livelihood. Fishing has been and still is an important part of Connecticut's economy. The town dock in Stonington is the busiest commercial fishing port in the state of Connecticut. We probably have 35, 40 boats a tie here of scallopers down to, you know, one man shows with lobster boats. We do have the benefit of having an awful lot of fish species that migrate into the sound. We catch lobster, we catch black sea bass, we catch summer flounder, winter flounder, porgies, tatog or blackfish, squid, butterfish, heron this time of year, some mackerel, bluefish in the summer. Commercial fishing in the Sound also includes the harvesting of shellfish. Shellfishing alone generates $30 million plus in sales annually and provides over 300 jobs statewide. We're in a really kind of ideal location for, for shellfish uh, propagation. We've got uh, you know, the mixing of fresh and salt water throughout the estuary of Long Island Sound and that creates the right water chemistry, salinity, and nutrients that's needed to support populations of reproducing shellfish. Connecticut is blessed because we have a lot of wild stocks that create more and more oysters. We also plant a lot of shellfish ourselves that we get from a hatchery. I've had oysters from across the world. I've had Filipino oysters, French oysters, Norwegian oysters. But us, here, on the East Coast, we have the best. Everyone in the world will love to pay for our oysters. It fills you with immense pride. We don't have the best salmon or tuna, but we have the best oysters. That's no question about it. To protect traditional uses such as fishing and to minimize conflicts today and in the future, Connecticut began work on the Long Island Sound Blue Plan. This marine spatial plan includes preserving the Sound's special ecosystems and resources and will make sure that the decision-making process is science-based and inclusive of all stakeholders. The Blue Plan is very important because there's a lot of activities taking place in Long Island Sound. Human activities that depend on natural resources. People will not fish if there's no fish. And it's really important to look forward to reduce conflict. For example, seaweed farming did not exist 10 or 15 years ago. Now it's a reality. Uh, it's really important to understand what we have, where it is, and then how we, we might best plan forward to reduce negative interactions between sectors. The blue plan is basically all that information from those different user groups put on a map. So if I'm a shell fisherman, I have my leases on the map. If I'm contaminated sediments and you don't want to put a shellfish operation there, I'll be on that map. So there's not a lot of places in Long Island Sound to farm kelp. So having tools like this can help identify that a little bit easier. Um, for example, in my space up in Groton, there's virtually no other space. You would think it's a big, wide open area, but you have tug traffic, you have military traffic, you have submarine traffic, um, the list goes on and on. So it takes all those different user groups and it puts them all together in an open, transparent way. And that way, when someone wants to propose a new project, they know good places to do it and maybe places that'll generate some conflict. And no one wants to waste time going through the permit process if there's going to be a big conflict. Anyone that is interested in Long Island Sound certainly should have some input or knowledge of the Blue Plant and what it is doing. The Long Island Sound is a historic body of water that's here for all of us, and it is important that we preserve it. It can only be helpful for all of us that depend upon it for our livelihood. If you're fishing and this is your your livelihood, you should be involved with all aspects of it. We're not the biggest producer of lobsters or fish, but we have a say. The success of the Blue Plan is really relying on all those users coming together and participating in this process. The Blue Plan is a plan for the people, and it should be designed by the people. Let uh, the Blue Plan staff and members know that you want to see Long Island Sound to continue to be uh, healthy and productive, both environmentally and economically. If you would like to share your comments and concerns about the Long Island Sound Blue Plan, please visit our website for more information.